the first thing I want to emphasize is, is you know, we do have to be careful about the provisionality of this. Um, I mean, in, in some of the debates, for example, about Hawking's book, it's almost you almost get the impression that some people, not Hawking himself, but some people are saying, well, of course, science now knows the answer to this question. It's called M-theory. Actually, it's not really. It's just a, a staging post along the long road of science. We try to make sense of things at the moment. This looks quite helpful. But it's clear that further work needs to be done. And the question is, where will that take us in the future? So, I, well, I'm going to say, I, I think it's actually stronger than that. Okay. That what we what is referred to as M theory isn't even a theory. Yeah. It's 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 a collection of ideas, hopes, aspirations. Exactly. Mm. It's not even a theory. And I think the book is a bit misleading yes. in that respect. It gives you the impression that here is this this new theory mm. which is going to explain everything. It's nothing of the sort. It's not even a theory and it certainly has no observational it partly is this ten to the five hundred you refer to This is one of the interesting aspects of what appears, he appears to be saying is, is that M-theory shows that the universe can create itself, so to speak, mm. out of nothing. Um, I mean, is, is that something which science can ever really tell us or, or be definitive? Take it's a certainly not on? doing it yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think the book suffers rather more strongly than, than many. I mean, it's not an uncommon thing in popular descriptions of science to latch on to some idea, particularly things to do with string theory, which have absolutely no support from observation. They're just nice ideas that have, people have tried to explore. But they will always remain theoretical. I mean, uh, Always is too strong. Uh, it may well be they just be refuted, but even that is something which is... Uh, there are... It, it, it's there's, they're very far from from any kind of observational or testability. Test, yes, mm. they're hardly science. Also, the word multiverse means different things. There is this five hundred, ten to the five hundred, different M theories or whatever it is, um, and these. These are different schemes in which you might have constants of nature being different and not, not just that, but the, all sorts of things are different. And the, the argument is that of all these different possibilities, we live in one where life is possible. And most of them, life is not possible. Now, that's one type of scheme. They all kind of coexist, but we find ourselves... In only, the one that is habitable it, for human right. life. Mm. That's right. And that, that's what's called the anthropic argument, mm. which has some justification. It's overused, I think. And, and this is a place where it's overused. It's an excuse for not having a good theory.